Yeah, indeed, there is a huge development according to um, uh, targets, molecular targets, based on the um, new techniques and skills we have, like the next generation analysis. And by this, we found uh, several interesting targets, signaling pathways, like NF kappa B signaling or PI3 um, gamma kinase signaling. So there are a lot of signaling pathways we have discovered. But we have to do further analysis to know which one is the most interesting one and also have to um, detect targets which we um, could um, use as a targeted therapy. Like as an example, P PI3 gamma kinase. So we have several inhibitors in this field um, and we have based on this um, several phase one clinical studies and CTCL are running. We have Preliminary data published at the beginning of this year from the states about P3 gamma kinase inhibitors, and I think they are quite interesting, and it will be interesting to see how they will be in the phase two study, and maybe also in in, in combination with other um, treatments. The other targets like NF kappa P signaling, we are um, it's a target we are using as a, as a target for treatment in CTCL, especially in Germany. Uh, we have an, an NF-kappa B inhibitor, which is used for long term in other diseases like psoriasis. It's also approved in multiple sclerosis. And we are now have a larger clinical study in Germany using dimethylfumarate to inhibit NF-kappa B in CTCL cells. And we already um, published together two years ago paper showing it in a in, in vitro model and also in a mouse model and based on this we have now a clinical trial since one and a half year and we are quite interesting to see the clinical results of this trial.